We're seeing some price pressures that can't necessarily be explained away by shrinkflation or continued issues with supply chains. If you look at the cost of services, such as auto repairs or healthcare, those costs are still rising. So what is the White House's message or what is to Americans who, for example, may have to take out a loan to fix their car? What specifically is the administration doing to lower the cost of services? And that's a good question. And look, uh, we've been very, uh, very clear here that prices are still too high. We're going to do everything that we can to lower cost. That is something that we've done, whether it's junk fees, right, whether it's health care, uh, whether it's the Inflation Reduction Act that also includes health care uh, provisions in there to, so that uh, Medicare can, can certainly uh, 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 negotiate with Big Pharma, hence lowering some prescription drug costs, which is incredibly important, energy costs. All of these things are important to the American people, so we're going to continue to do that. We've lo we've, 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 uh, because of the President's action, he's able to lower cost at the pump, uh, uh, and so that's mattered as well to Americans across the country. So we're going to continue to do the work. Obviously, we understand there's more work to be done, but this is an economy that is in a much different place than it was a year ago, a much different place, obviously, than it was three years ago. Uh, when, you see, uh, when you see eggs and milk uh, and products like that at the grocery store going down, they're lower than they were a year ago. That's important.